call this Jackson County Commission uh, meeting and work session to order. Have our uh, roll call. District 1, Mr. Duffy. Present. District 2, Mr. Duffy. Present. District 3, Mr. Miller. Present. District 4, Mr. Lesson. Present. Chairman also present. And quorum is present, so we can't conduct business. We'll have our invocation by Mr. Porter and our pledge by Mr. Duffy. God, our Father in heaven, we're blessed. We're so blessed to live in this country and in this county. We're thankful for those blessings and those men that have decided to uh, seek public office to serve uh, the members of this community and those around us. So, God, we're so thankful for that. We pray that you'll be with them and guide them and direct them. Give them wisdom and discernment about the decisions that they make for the county. Pray that it'll be in uh, the best interest of all the people of the county and uh, help those that are in special need of particular help. So, God, we thank you for these men. We thank you for all of the people of the county. I would pray that you'll ask, uh, watch over us, and guide us, direct us every day. In Christ's name, amen. 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 I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The changes that are handed out on the public works annual bids. Okay. But nothing, uh, that's still on there, right? Other than you just got to change the recommendation. Yes, sir. Okay. Anything else? Okay, so will we accept the, uh, do we have a motion to approve both agendas as presented there? Make a motion. Motion, do we have a second? Second that motion. Any discussion? All those in favor say aye. Aye. Those opposed say no. Okay. Uh, special meeting uh, items. The first one is regarding the Alabama CARES contract. Now, this was emailed to everybody, and here is a copy of the contract. Uh, it was emailed to everyone earlier. I don't know if you have had an opportunity to review it. This is the, the contract that we do annually with Sparkog um, uh, for our uh, the word Alabama CARES for the program that we have there. Um, they give us dollars to help manage that program, so that's basically what this contract is. Uh, so they received it, I think, last Thursday or one, and Park our request that we get it back to them by this coming Thursday. So if we do choose to approve it tonight, I'd ask that we approve it uh, uh, pending final review by our attorney and by you know, signature or whatever, and I'll wait until Mr. Ford has time to review it before we sign it. So are there any questions or comments on that at this time? Do you recall this contract from previous years, Mr. Porter? I do recall that there is a contract, but other than that, I don't have any present recollection of the specific of it. The $15 an hour, that's a minimum of two hours. Mm -hmm. I don't, can you explain that to me about the minimum? The program works, uh, they reimburse us. Uh, this is the one they reimburse us for, correct, Mr. Manning? Yeah, 178 for this. So they, they reimburse us for the hours. In fact, I believe this is one that we actually bring a few extra dollars yeah, into us. So those dollars are reimbursed by Tarkov, and that's the rule. That's how they supply, basically, those minimum hours. And minimum amount. How many employees is this? Is this one employee, two employees? Uh, I don't want to say for how many would work on just that program, because there are several people that work on different ones. And we I guess we have to explain which people we have we have folks that cross program um, lines basically they get may get paid on multiple programs uh, in this one a majority of the folks not all of them are the contract employees that we use through um, what's the center over here job seekers. Job seekers. yeah job seekers now we do have some that are still employees of the county uh, uh, that we pay as full-time employees and have benefits that particular fund is uh, self-funded. It's, it's not one that's uh, actually going into the deficit. Any questions or comments? Any other questions or comments? Again, it's been requested that we move forward. If not, then understand we can put it on next week's agenda, however we want to proceed. Make a motion to move forward. Make a motion, and is that pending review from the uh, Okay, we have 
the motion. We have a second. I'll second. Okay. Any further discussion? Okay. All those in favor say aye. 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 All right. Next item regarding the budget. Um, we have in your packet. We'll go over the list of shortly. But, uh, two things that we need to discuss. Uh, we've, we've talked about in some of our budget meetings are the cuts that we want to record with. And you have in your packets the appropriation sheet. Um, so two things I want to talk about today are the appropriations that uh, we plan to cut as well as the way that we cut the hours. So if we could go over the appropriations first. Um, these appropriations are all the ones that were discussed before with exception. There was one that was located in the um, Parks Department, the Catfish Festival. That was not included on this list before because it was paid out of the Parks Department. So that has been added here. So the first thing would be to, to I guess, we'll set aside whether any of these items, if there's any problem with any of these appropriated items, any concerns. Okay. Uh, well, we'll be, let me ask a question. Will we be able to pick up the 27000 for the health department house solid waste and put it completely over there for the garbage? That's something we need to discuss, and we have a meeting this week, actually that is Friday, I think, uh, for the Solid Waste Committee. I think that needs to be discussed through them. Mr. Uh, uh, Robinson had some um, ideas on that, so I think that's something to be discussed in committee and brought back to the commission. But I would, I would think that from the general fund, we need to go ahead and cut the entire our entire portion. So any questions on the rest of those appropriations? Okay. Um, in regard to the uh, registrars, again, we've supplemented that. Are there any questions to making that cut? Okay. Business privilege tax, we're still waiting. Have we sent for that opinion, or are we waiting on some minutes still? No, we've already sent. we sent. Okay, so that opinion is pending. Of course, we won't know until that gets back. Um, and I'd like to do the four-hour thing as a separate vote. Uh, DA reduction, this is approximate amount. We'll, we plan to cut that back to just the base of what the law requires that we pay. And we estimate that to be $20,000. Are there any questions or issues with that, reducing that amount? What are we actually funding in the district attorney's office? We're funding one position, one and a half positions. Uh, the law requires that we have a secretary or a pay for secretary um, based on the pay of the presiding circuit judge. Um, so circuit, circuit judge secretary. Right. So we're giving the amount based on that salary. We actually gave more the past two years, so this would cut it down just to that base amount of what that presiding judge and secretary makes. And that's where the 20000 comes from. Mm -hmm. And the uh, DAs, you know, we talked to the DA about that. He understands. So. Any questions on that? Uh, closure of the courthouse door. Uh, it's been closed several days already. What my recommendation would be is as we move forward with tonight to go ahead and, and say that the, the south door be closed um, maybe even immediately in your recommendation, but at least by the 14th. Uh, we're having trouble, so folks being out as it is. So when folks are out, of course every Friday we only have two guards here. So instead of bringing folks in to help man that extra door and spending money, uh, the recommendation would be to go ahead and close that. But what are the thoughts on that? At least by October 1, I think we need to make that change. I agree. Did the security committee get together about the basement? The keys? We've talked a little bit about it. I've got to talk to a couple more members. But as far as the doors, as far as the closure of the door, security committee is good to go on the closure of the door, of the south door. Who's on the security committee? Uh, it's myself, the judge, uh, the sheriff is in here. Okay. Any other questions on that? So do we want to say beginning the 14th it'll be closed? Do you know if we have even coverage for this week on the south door? We do A couple days. Okay. So we could say on the 14th just to give notice it'll be closed full time or we can say October 1st, whichever we prefer. October 1st is when everything else is going to take effect, and it's just three weeks yeah. away. Okay, so we'll say October 1st and manage it in between. We won't, again, if if there's someone out, we won't, we'll keep that door closed. We're working on getting some signs up on the south door so that folks will know. Sheriff, will you be, some of these guys will be retiring? Um, Billy's, Billy's leaving, yes. 
and Lauren's fixing to have a baby, so she's going to be out for a while. He really doesn't leave to just end of December. Yeah, January. He don't, January 1, he'll be gone. Um, the boat dock cleanup, I don't think that was a, a included earlier, and that was something that was in the uh, parks department. Yes, sir. Yes, yeah, correct. The amount on that is $8,400 instead of the amount that's on there. Okay. So this is a contract we have. Again, I would recommend we cut that beginning October 1 off, though. Which one did you say was 8400 The boat dock cleanup. It's 84 8400 That gets rid of the contract that we have for somebody to clean up. Mm -hmm. Right. We're going to switch that, that responsibility over to the parks department. Yeah. And, and, you know, obviously we'll do the best we can with uh, a lot of time and manpower. Um, but, uh, yeah, I think that's what we need to do. Any questions or concerns with that? Okay. Uh, okay. The COA RPT transfer. I'd like to hold off on that until we have. We've got a budget meeting coming up this uh, Friday, I believe, or Thursday. We'll have a much better understanding on the savings there. So at this time, you know, that's to be left out of today's vote. If, if everyone's okay with that. And then the retiree insurance. We had discussed the possibility of requiring retirees to pay the additional amount uh, based on the increase coming up this next year. Uh, what's the thoughts that we want to move forward with that, or do we want to hold off on that until some more Can we hold off on that before we go any further with it? Did you have a chance to ask Mr. Porter my question about whether or not it was legal? I have. Or if we would have to get a uh, local law passed if we uh, uh, paid a certain amount to retirees to come off of the insurance voluntarily, uh, they could purchase their own insurance. Uh, that might save the county considerable amount of dollars if we get participation. Basically what you'd said is if we set an amount, we either give you that much or we're only going to pay that much on your retiree insurance, right? Like we could we could give them the option of sticking with our insurance, but we're only going to pay this amount, or you can receive this amount in cash and get your own insurance. I'm not going to support retiree insurance reduction. Not. Um, can you research the that question both ways? And Okay. Well, we can talk about our options and see what we do further. At this point, I'm open to various options, but I'm not going to support a reduction in the retirees' insurance. Well, this isn't a reduction because it's not being. Yeah, we were just talking about not, you yeah. know. Well, well, what you just said is a reduction. You said yeah. a certain amount, if you set an amount, Oh, that's right, considered right. a oh, well, reduction. Yeah, you're right. That's it. When I first brought the question yeah. up, it was about whether or not we were going to pick up the increased cost. Yeah. It wasn't a, you know, reduction. Well, if, if there's employees out there, retirees out there that, that want to opt to that plan, I'm, I'm all for it, you know, so that would be their choice. So it may be that we pay the insurance unless you choose to opt for it. Okay, so we'll, we'll put that uh, for further discussion coming up. So the things, uh, before we, first thing, before we go to the four-hour reduction, uh, all appropriations listed in your first chart there, the registrar's DA reduction, close the south door, beginning October 1, and the boat dock cleanup uh, are the things that we'll entertain a motion on first. Are there questions or comments on that? Okay, so do we have a motion that, uh, pending the final budget, of course, these items will be removed from the budget for the 2015-16 fiscal year? I'll make a motion. We have a motion. Second Do we have any further discussion? Okay. We'll go over the motion again. Okay, the motion would include that all appropriations listed in the first chart, uh, $120,693, and then to include in those cuts the registrars are a supplement to the registrars, the additional amount on the DA is above what the law says. Uh, closure of the south door in the courthouse beginning October 1 and to cut the boat dock cleanup contract beginning October 1. Okay. Any understand that to be the motion? Mm -hmm. Okay. Motion saying any further discussion? Okay, all those in favor say aye. Aye. Uh -huh. Those opposed say no. Okay, the next item uh, in regard to that, that cut would be the four hour reduction. This has been talked about and discussed, I think, in several of our uh, budget meetings. 
Um, two things, we need to discuss the RIP policy in the work session coming up, so that will have to be done ultimately before this is enacted. Uh, secondly, the budget, of course, we've got a pending final approval of the budget, so I'd ask that any vote that we make on this is done pending the final approval of our budget. But from the discussion that we've had in the past, the recommendation would be to reduce uh, salaries or reduce the hours of employees um, uh, four hours uh, per week, eight hours per pay period uh, across the board, or that needs to be discussed. And then that the office or the hours of the courthouse be from 7:30 to 5 Monday through Thursday, um, or. Tuesday through Friday, and I think that's still up for discussion. So uh, if we do this, I would ask that we do it to be handled administratively. Obviously, there may be situations where employees may have to work over a couple times, and whether it be sheriff's department or whatever else, um, so that we work through this administratively. One of the RIF policies we'll discuss uh, leaves it to the appointing authority. I think the appointing authority and, and guidance of the commission is the best way to leave this. So before we get into an actual vote, are the questions, comments, concerns on how we proceed with this? Yeah, I'm kind of concerned about the Sheriff's Department. Um, we had talked about this before, talked a little bit more to uh, Mr. Miller and Mr. Little. Um, I, I feel like we, we possibility of opening ourselves up to be vulnerable to a lawsuit um, because we're already stretched so thin. I mean, it, it's different from any other department. I mean, yeah, there could be an inconvenience in other departments, but it could be the matter of life and death in that department. Uh, so I think we need to re, re look at this. We can, I mean, we obviously it's open for discussion, but leaving the Sheriff's Department out, my understanding, they did come up with a solution for the hours, I believe, right? Whether it was going to be a good solution I mean, or not, but it was It's not a good solution, but I mean, they're going <clears> to. <throat> It can be done, but I'm against it. I'm, a, I'm afraid. How many employees are you talking about? Eighty. It's fifty percent of the general fund budget. If we don't cut that, we're cutting every other employee by more than. Uh, because of how the system works, you're looking at cutting between eight and twelve hours for the remaining employees. Well, if we, I feel if we, if we cut any in the uniform patrol division or in the county jail. We're sacrificing the safety of the public and the employees by doing that. Uh, I, I wouldn't want to sacrifice uh, dollars for an employee uh, or someone in the public safety. Well, we, we have no choice but to cut. So the question is, where do you want to make that cut? Right. Oh, I understand that, but that's, that's the reason I bring it up, because, uh, you know, if we if we cut the hours and then we get sued, did we really save anything? Does that open ourselves to liability to have... Well, it depends on what you're talking about. If, if we cut hours with uh, deputies or... Well, I, I think you're, you're... And this is not a definitive answer for you, but I think your biggest liability to be will be with jail cutting... And I don't know what that situation is exactly, but if you cut it back to where either the inmates' safety is in jeopardy or the employees' safety is in jeopardy, just because of that unique situation, I think we, I think you just have to look at that. Uh, How many employees are just at the jail? Uh, right around 40. About half and half. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Maybe not quite that easy. Well, where's letter control? Did we not put it on appropriations or do we yes, a bunch of them? Uh, the, have you already cut that, Sheriff? No, I haven't, but I, that, that'll be the first thing to go with. The, the, well, yeah. it will go, but he will go back to the jail. He will go back to, to get the your dollar back where it's supposed to be, correct? Right. Or better We're already below time. staff. Right. I've got one that left in August, around 1st of August. We did not rehire. Right. And then we've got one out on uh, medical leave that's not getting paid right now, but her plan is to come back, hopefully. I mean, right. she's taking treatment for cancer. If, if they if they don't take the cut, and the number we gave that I have given to the sheriff is $225,000, again, that's got to come from somewhere. So the sheriff's is 225000 That's both budgets. That's not right. Sheriff and jail. 
It's half. That's the four hour per employee equals 225000 per week. Well, you've got two that's leaving that we've got to pay the annual leave that they've built. That's, I think that was why it went from 170 to 225 The 225 was because originally we had included that business privilege tax dollars. So when we when we said we're going to have to get AG's opinion, we said, well, maybe. And, and that's something, if we don't want to cut them at all, if the AG's opinion comes back that that saves it, then that uh, that could cover, theoretically cover the uh, uh, jail and the sheriff's department. Uh, or we could budget a deficit and use the cash balance to cover it if we don't want to make that cut. Uh, I, I was under the impression that that's not what we wanted to do. No, I didn't. I, I mean, that's what... I, now, we're I guessing what that. our decline is going to be on the PBA funds. We won't know. Ooh, we do know. not know. And but, you know, but we're it, thinking it's going to be... Two hundred fifty thousand dollars, correct? But we can't budget. Uh, I, I would say that if we budgeted more than that or less than that, as far as a loss, that we would be making, we would be lying to ourselves about what it's going to do. Okay. The only, you know, if we we could make the cuts, and as soon as we get the AG's opinion back, say, okay, we we'll give the sheriff and, and jail back their hours first. The only other option I see is that we cut everybody else. It's not going to be only four more hours. It's looking like it'll be six, and the reason is because of how the revenue and mapping budgets work, um, because they're supplemented by the, uh, you know, supported by all. So that number is going to be look like another, in addition to the four-hour cut, another four to six hours. And the magic number that we're trying to obtain is what? 450 at the very minimum from from uh, from labor from labor credits. Labor law. Plus our deficit. Right. So we have, we're trying we're trying to attain 800,000. No, so 700. Is the total. Yeah, that's the number. 450 and 350 is not 700,000. No, not 450 to the deficit. 700 total. Let's start this over. What is the magic number we're looking at? 700,000. 700,000. Right. If you take the sheriff off at this time, you're looking at $353,693. As far as the cuts so far? Mm -hmm. Roughly, yeah. So that, Minus the 40 from half. COA and cost of retirement. No, that, don't, that don't have that included. We brought this up today, obviously, because it was requested that we do that. If we want to postpone this and think more about it, we can. I'm in agreement. We got to make cuts. I mean, it, I mean, the people made that clear. Uh, the deficit is in the general funds. I mean, got, uh, public works, solid waste, and the park is not helping our budget. But they're included, correct? That's the, again, that's, that's the, no, they're not included in 458. Well, they need to be. Well, it doesn't affect well, that, the, that, the, that the doesn't, it's not even No, we, we can cut relevant. them. We can cut them included in this, but that doesn't change the bottom line here. That's why they're not included here. Well, you can put that cut over into road paving if you want to. Right. But, but, but that doesn't affect this number. So that's why they're not included here. Can I say something? My guys have been out on stabbing this morning since, what, 4 o'clock? 430 they're still at work and we're looking at they're probably going to put in more than 12 hours a day so if you start cutting them on Friday they might as well take off on Thursday if, it, if, if we were in that position now to be cutting hours they've already put in an extra day today and all my deputies work over sometimes and don't turn in time but they're so mad now they're ready at six o'clock no matter what they're doing they're wanting to go home and I don't blame them but these investigators put in hours and hours and hours that, that y'all don't even know about. And then you're asking them to take eight hours away from them. And it's just not right. Y'all got money in reserve if you have to spend it. This is an emergency situation. That's what that money is for. I know eventually if we don't have money come in, you're going to go broke. But this is the position we're in. And if we don't manage those dollars now, then what happens when we do go broke? We're in the, I mean, then we have nothing. Our deputies, if there is an emergency that they absolutely have to respond to, we can't afford to pay them. 
I understand that. If, if some disaster years, happens, how do we pay those dividends? This is a disaster. This is a disaster for these employees. I know it's a disaster for all employees. Right. It, it, but we have no choice. The money is not there. We could we could use that reserve till it's gone, and then we then we make drastic cuts. These cuts that we're making here, as drastic as they seem, are pretty conservative. So what do I do with people that's working like today? They may work 15, 16 hours before this day's over with. We need to Just continue. let them go home by Wednesday and we forget about everything else? We need to continue to do business, and we understand that there'll be times when we accrue some overtime and things like that, and we'll budget for some, some expense of that. But if we don't make these cuts, we can't even afford to do that. We, we can If we can budget over time to have an expected amount, knowing that things like this are going to happen, we can prepare for that somewhat. Well, I can promise you it's going to happen again. Right. I mean, I've been doing this for 33 years, and I've given this county thousands of hours and never been paid for. I've never asked for it. And I've got employees that's doing the same thing right now. But when you want to take from them, they don't want to give any more. I understand. Tell us what our reserve amount we were looking at. What is the goal October 1st? What is the reserve amount that we're going to be looking at? For the general fund. For the general fund. I don't know the exact number. Approximately. The number that I've run based on what you've given us is 1.7. Yeah, I got 1.3, so you said 1.7. Yeah, I would say more like a 1.7, 1.8 maybe. But okay. it doesn't have to be 1.5. I mean, that's, that's the only, that's, that's the, all that's there. When, when we, we don't know that until after October, because that's we'll the 30th is over. And, uh, but we're still have some revenue coming in on this physical year. Yeah, so those will be a little predictable. I mean, we'll know first week or two of the next month. But, but it, it's going to be very, very close to that number. And it's, it's not going to, it's not going to change drastically. So. Two things, I mean, it, it's very obvious that this is, uh, you know, we've, we've got to come up with something. If we're not prepared to make the cuts, I would recommend we not move forward with cut it close. Stating the courthouse hours yet, because if we have to take that from the remaining, again, we're going to look at probably a day and a half uh, worth of closures as opposed to what we're looking at right now. Or our hours are definitely going to be different if we, if we choose to change the route. If that's what we do, that's fine. But we need to, you know, make that decision at once, as opposed to making a decision now. Uh, based on what I'm hearing, I think we need what, to wait. What are we at? What are we at uh, without the hours? What was that number we were just at? What we just approved? We approved uh, 120 plus to those other hours. Yeah. And, and here's another thing, you know, we, we're going through the budgets at the end of this week. Uh, workers' comp, we know, have come down. Insurance costs have gone up. So, you know, those things are awash. But once those budget dollars are put in, maybe we're looking at 200000 we have to cut. Maybe we can cut it to two hours a week or something But for the sheriffs. But, again, we need to, if we choose to do that. We passed two budget deficits in a row, and we had a budget deficit, and we took off us. I refused to pass another budget deficit. No. Two hundred four thousand ninety three dollars What did you say? Two hundred four thousand ninety three. That's the amount of cuts that has been made thus far. Right. So the remaining cuts, four ninety five nine hundred seven. The remaining cuts, which and then if you take the 353, 693, which is that's the amount of reduction less the jail and the sheriff's department. No, that's not correct. You got 458. Probably not there. Mm -hmm. You're saying that's what it's two hundred thirty-three thousand. I'm sorry, that that included the two hundred four already. See, we got a hundred. Do we want to do we want to discuss this further in the work session next week? I think it. I mean, we 
we've got a lot of thoughts here. Yeah, I mean, I like I said I, I know we got to. I just want to make sure we're. I just want to make sure we're cutting the right thing. That's, right. that's, that's my. Yeah. Thing I, I agree with before you. Before we cut, I mean, all of us was included in this four hundred fifty-eight thousand. The elected officials. Yes, everything. Everything in the general fund. Now, I took uh, revenue of mapping at 15%, 15 or 20, I can't remember what number it is, but 15 or 20% because that's all we're actually saving. And that comes back in the form of a revenue as opposed to an expense. But that's included in there at those percentages. But we're, we're sure this is all the appropriations state, right? Yes, There's nothing else out there. I know we passed a $350,000 deficit. But in reality, where do you think we're going to end up October first? Can't tell right now until we get the last. No clue. Three twenty, three fifteen, no, two ninety. There's just too many funds that you got to look at right now. Okay. And it's just, at our mid-year point, we were yeah, right, on, right on track. Uh, right on track. But then also, some of our amounts, our encumbrances, or what, whatever, they, they seem like they reduce some toward the end. Correct. Some of them come in. Uh, like some of your revenues you get once a year, some of your expenditures you pay at the first part of the year for the entire year. Some of them come in later in the year, so it's it's uh, just hard to tell till you get the month behind you. Never know 100 percent till you get that final balance in after the final you close the book and the bank statement in and get it reconciled. Yeah, and we said earlier that um, public works, solid waste, and the park, which are self-sustaining accounts. Have we offsetted through the general fund anything to those departments this year? Actually, part solid waste. Part and solid waste. Yes, we have. Well, I mean, they, yeah. they've got some revenue coming. You know, they pay some revenue into the general fund. No, we take out the general fund and offset it. No. Some of the no, projects over there. We haven't done any projects through those other funds. Yes, we have. I mean, one, I'm telling one, you now. 116. We, we, we sure do. Through 116, but 116 is not a general fund account. We can't use that for general fund purposes. It's not 116. Oh, we'll, 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 I'll get my ducks in a row. I checked it earlier, and I want to make sure that's correct. But I'm saying if we're taking any of those funds at all and offsetting these departments that uh, are supposed to be self sustaining, the we'll only, probably need to look at that too. The only thing we've used, we've not taken, like, by law, we can take Mr. Manning or any of our pay out of right. public work. We've not done that uh, because we saw early on there's a deficit there too, so we, we've not done that with public works. Um, there may be some savings in public works with some of the changes, but we're not going to know that till we get into the process of making those changes and actually seeing those dollars, you know, there. Uh, solid waste, we've not supplemented. Anything we've supplemented out of there would have been 116 or the cash balance of 112, but it's mm -hmm. not been a budgeted. You know, not been budgeted, but, right. but it's not been budgeted for annual salaries or things right. like that. We've not done the budget for. amendments out of the general fund for any of those three. Not to cover daily expenses. We may have purchased equipment or something out of it, but we've not done. But not out of the general fund. We purchased some equipment out of one twelve. Yeah. Which is equivalent. Which is why again that that cash balance you're looking at that's that's. That's an estimate until we get to the end of the year because we do have two months more operating. Uh, we have taken some things out that weren't planned and so on and so forth. Do we, do we want to? Uh, we also like the park. I mean, it, it's profitable. And, you know, cut those folks' hours and they're supplementing the general fund. I, I mean, I don't agree with that. I, I and think we're adding, we're adding uh, we're going away with the contracts and boat launch. Add that to the park and cut their hours too, uh, and they're profitable. I'm, I just don't, I, I can't agree with that. Well, if it's but not going to be profitable if we start taking the administrator's part of his salary out of there and part of the chairman's. And you can't put them in, uh, you want to put those in the park fund. You don't put them in the, the park fund, but you can supplement, parks. you can pull out of it a percentage of your salary. To no, those yeah, funds, no, no, solid yeah, waste, work, solid, yeah, public You can't just take part too. We did it the year, yeah. first year we was here. What yeah, we did yeah. is moved a hundred thousand from public from the parks to the general fund. Right. We can move, and we've even and, and you that. can color it any way you want to. But if you move it over there, 
you can say you it's can for your salary. You can lose 75% of the administrator's salary to public works. That's the only one. And then you, and the, some of the commissioners, you can move, if you spend in a certain amount of time on just roads, mm -hmm. you can rate your what percentage you're spending dealing with those, and you can move those to the public works fund. So that was the number I had given y'all a little earlier. If you move, if you move 75% of my salary and half of the salary. So, the so salary. you're telling me that you can you move can't out to public get a percentage of your salary through Jackson County Park Fund? You don't have to. We can move those dollars. We could move every penny of those dollars over to the general fund if we wanted to. Yeah. But when we first came into office, remember that sale, they bumped 5%. Oh, they did 5% for each of the, yeah, through yeah. Through those funds, and now we're saying That's, we can't. We got a local law passed that allows us to bring those dollars to the general fund. Instead I understand, of I understand that 100000 I'm talking about where they were paying those percentages of those salaries. It, it wouldn't do any good. You just run them into a deficit if you do that. Well, we don't want to do that, but Mr. Benz will try it. I mean, if, if it's profitable, there's no sense that you don't want to cut something that's profitable, it's making money. Well, then I want to, the benefit, Mr. Led will tell on the same hand, if there is surplus, this, we need to look at oh, every yeah. one of those. And, and we've, we've budgeted a slightly higher revenue, I think, this year. We had the meeting with the park. I think we've got the budget meetings Thursday or Friday. Thursday or Friday. Anyways, it looked like left. there was, uh, was it 125 we're looking at? Yeah. So there's a few more dollars last year. Based on their expenses to revenue, there's a few more dollars we're going to be able to bring to the general fund this year. Not a substantial amount, but a little bit. I hate to string these employees along, and I really apologize for this motion, but I'm, I'm not, I'm not ready. So I'm gonna make a motion we table this until we're, until we're ready. If you wanna have a budget meeting following the work session next week, we can discuss Yes, sir. Okay, so uh, we have a motion to table this and discuss at the budget meeting and vote on uh, whatever we set up meeting to follow. I'm going to follow. Well, go ahead. I'm going to be absent for the following Monday. We'll be here next week. I'll be here next Monday, but we'll continue the meeting though for Monday. We'll continue this meeting till Monday or Monday next week. Let's continue this meeting till Tuesday of next week. Uh, if we want to do it that way, that way we have our budget meeting Monday night, Monday afternoon. And then we can do this meeting Tuesday. So we'll continue this meeting if everyone's good. We'll continue this meeting until Tuesday at uh, what time? I mean, if we're going to we're going to do it Monday. Why don't we just continue until we do it Monday? When we, we have a budget. We got a budget meeting. Oh, and we'll have to okay. go home. Thank you, pray about a lot of this myself. Tuesday morning or afternoon? Tuesday morning. Let's get it done. Okay. At uh, what time? Eight a.m. Nine a.m. 9 a.m. is better for me, but that's up to y'all. No, I'm good any time. Okay. So at the end of this meeting, uh, we'll recess to continue until 9 a.m. next Tuesday, the 15th. We will have a budget meeting following our work session on the 14th. Okay. So we have a motion for this time to table this until that meeting on the 15th. Do we have a second? Present. Okay. Motion and a second. Uh, any dis further discussion? I apologize to the employees. I thought I was prepared, but I'm, I'm just not. There's a lot of stuff to do. Yeah, there is. A lot more than I thought about. I just want to make sure we're doing the right thing. I mean, I know we got to cut. We're going to have to cut. But they ain't no doubt about it. It's, it's got to be cut. I mean, Mr. Temple said, well, I'm not going to vote for another unbalanced budget. But I just want to make sure. I'm going to take a few more days to make sure. All right, motion second. Any further discussion? Okay, all those in favor say aye. Aye. Uh, opposed say no. Okay. All right, that concludes the special meeting part. So we'll go into the work session section of this. Um, have our discussion items for the work session. The first item is the RIF policy and the first two resolutions that you have uh, outline the RIF policy. Um, now it's been discussed a little bit and of course we'll have to set times. The second resolution is not absolutely necessary. Uh, it has percentages the time of the courthouse closure. Uh, if we do that through the administrative way then the second resolution is not necessary but please take a look at that, consider that, and review that for our meeting next Tuesday when we do decide that how we're going to move forward. 
The first resolution allows us to change hours. Currently, the policy, and I'm sorry, I'll let Mr. Porter explain if he can explain the policy, how it works, and why this is necessary. Okay, the, uh, the current policy uh, establishes a 40-hour work week. It says specifically that the uh, work week will be 40 hours, and that came about for a number of reasons. Um, but in any event, it, it does say that. So if you're going to change the hours, then you need to amend the policy, and that's really what uh, the resolution, first resolution does is changes the hours of work. Uh, to allow the commission to set those hours of work. So this will be, um, can we approve this next Tuesday or would we still need to wait till the 28th? You can approve next Tuesday. Okay. So are there questions or comments on this? This is again just to allow us whatever we do decide this will give us the change the policy to allow us to do that. Yeah, yeah and, and this resolution doesn't actually change any hours or set schedules. It just says that the commission will have the authority to do that. And then you can do, you know, however you choose to break it out. Uh, the commission will have that authority to do that. It just gets around the requirement for a 40-hour week. Questions or comments on that? We're just talking about the first one still, correct? Yeah, the right. second one. Oh, well, yeah, just the first one. Do you have questions on the second one? The only thing I've got on the second one, is the Friday 8 and 12 was this discussed with the judges? No. Do they have to be open all day? No. The, uh, but from the judge, I spoke with the uh, uh, circuit judge and Judge Holt, and she stated that closing Fridays would cause no interference with court or have any problems with court if we chose to close Friday. We can close half a day. We can do what we said before nines. Uh, this was what uh, was put together. Again, we would have to decide ultimately what those days are going to be. This is just kind of filler, and we've got to make, we've got to say this is what the final thing is going to be. Thank you. But uh, we will, if, if we do choose to do that, of course, we'll still have to have somebody here on Friday, one person for maintenance at least, and then we'll need to keep uh, security up here, which is uh, with the cuts. I didn't cut uh, the ones we're working on for the budget, I didn't cut courthouse security because. That's, yeah, that's okay, so any other questions on the RIF policy? Okay, so we'll uh, entertain those then at the meeting on Tuesday um, after we've decided if we move forward with that time. Next item Public Works Annual Bids. Uh, Mr. Campbell, we want to know what you have there for your presentation. Yes, sir. The, I provided you all with a revised list of our recommendations for the bids to be awarded. The only thing I'll draw your attention to as far as changes under crushed limestone, you'll notice that is split bid. And the first under that split bid will be Madison Materials for rock delivered by Madison Materials to our yard. The other is Vulcan Materials. That recommendation is for Vulcan Materials to receive the bid for rock picked up by our trucks. Everything else is just as it as it was in the document that was presented to you. And you don't have the actual bids here. Um, do you have? A, is there a simple sheet that has the actual bids on it? Uh, it's a lot of items. I can provide that for you. Okay. If I, I recommend, I guess the best way uh, maybe for any commissioner with questions to speak with you before next week. On Absolutely. It. Okay. Two others rebid and reject, but on the concrete pipe and structural still, will that have to be rebid, or what's the plan for that? Our plan was to follow Alabama bid law on okay. um, depending on the amount of purchase, if it's multiple quotes required, or if we need to do a local advertisement for bids uh, as as needed. Okay. And the hot mix plant used to make cold mix would be rejected and just not. Yes, sir. Right. That was approximately twenty-six dollars per ton for that hot mix use, and to make a product that we feel is just as suitable for cold mix can be done on the yard with a pug mill and we can realize that savings in producing that material. So 
asking questions or comments on the bid sheet or recommendations. And like I said, if you do want to look at some specifics, and uh, Mr. Campbell or Renee do have a copy in our office as well, you know, we do yes, you can come up here and uh, I think Ms. Johnson keeps the bid there. So. Okay, any other questions? All right, next item, resolution regarding County Road 170, 97, and 680. And uh, what this is about. Yes, sir. All of these are basically requests for speed limit reductions or studies in those areas. And they were all citizen requests with the exception of a uh, police chief request. Um, and we can elaborate on each one of those county roads if necessary. And that's County Road 107, not 170. Okay. So questions or comments under this? Next item is the surplus for the solid waste department. Yes, sir. <clears throat> also, in y'all's packets, I provided y'all with some information for surplus and trucks. These trucks that we have are getting very old. These are 2011. They have 100,000 miles on them, uh, 100,000 plus miles on them, with you averaging 5,000 5, to 7,000 hours on them. Uh, these two on the top are, are some of our oldest automatic trucks that we'd like to get rid of. We usually rotate them out every four years, and this is the fourth year. Um, and what I'd like to do is surplus these trucks out here. We also have a 2008 auto car automated that we've done some repairs on, but it is also very old. It's got 131,000 on it with 7,924 hours. And then we have an old rear loader international also. That I'd like to surplus the engine blowing in, and it's not uh, with us being automated, we wouldn't need to make the repair to it. We like to surplus it. In the second column, you'll see the prices that uh, estimated on what these trucks should bring us, and I'd like to surplus those to either sale or, or intent maybe to trade. I'd like to look at trading, but we'll. Uh, surplus it out for the amount of money that I'm showing you there in, in, in the second column. And then I think on the agenda it says uh, to, to uh, purchase trucks. My intent would be to purchase three new Mac automated trucks to replace the two that we sold and the automated truck that we've also sold. And you'll see the projected amount of what those seven, uh, those three trucks are going to cost us. Uh, with a surplus, we would pay a larger payment on it this year and finance them for three years. We would uh, do the lease, lease payment on these trucks. Um, this still needs to be discussed. I think your budget meeting is Friday. Yes, sir, correct. So, uh, based on what you talked to me about, it looks like the dollars will be there based on the budget. But what's budgeted for um, lease payments, the dollars are there. That's something, I guess, to confirm Friday that the committee will look at. Um, and confirm that those dollars are available to pay for that difference for the surplus. Plus, if everything went south, we have the money in reserves and solid waste to take care of this if you had to, correct? Yes. Thank you. Any other questions or comments on this? Okay. Uh, what I, again, the committee meets Friday. I ask for a recommendation from the committee after meet Friday to take some final number to it there. Uh, next item, okay, that's for the Mack truck purchase also. Are there any other questions on the Mack truck purchase or do you have any other comments on that? No, sir. Anything on that? Okay. Next item is a public work organizational chart. Um, on this out, this is, I believe, I don't know if everyone's received a copy of this or not. Uh, this is the final recommendation, recommended chart. You'll, we've got the job description and then the uh, letter here as well. 
is a letter to fill those positions. So your supervisor position and your lead position, excuse me, will be new positions. Um, there's one position here, the HMT1, under the construction, very bottom one. That's actually temporary right now. Uh, so that one will need to be uh, discussed or figure out how we go forward. But outside of that, uh, this is the organizational chart with the recommendation of the, the folks that will serve in those positions. Um, and then still, once the lead, supervisor, and lead positions are in place, uh, they'll determine who falls under what, but where you see HMT 3, 2, 1, that is their actual position right now. None of those will change at this time. They may be moved to a different uh, uh, group that they're working under, but that is their position at this time. So questions, comments? Do you have anything you want to add to it? No, sir. I was did just going to emphasize you have a copy that. Of the final? Yeah, I gave you that. Right. Yes, sir. Okay. I was just going to emphasize below the lead positions there in each of the legs. That's still to be determined. This was a best fit scenario with folks we had. So how that's going to shake out, quite honestly, will come from a lot of the input from the supervisor position. Questions on the organizational chart? Okay, and the job descriptions, again, this is, if you'll take time to review those, this is, uh, what I think we've approved the, or we've reviewed the uh, supervisor position, you have the lead job description in there as well, so if you'll take time to review those, and then finally you have the letter of the recommendation uh, for who moves up to those supervisor positions, you have that letter in there as well, so if you'll take time to review that, and if we're prepared, we can move forward next week, uh, or we can do this on the 28th, any preferences to how we move forward. Tuesdays or Mondays. Uh, okay, if there's no objection, we'll put that there. We'll begin to review any of those, and if you have any other questions, we'll discuss that Monday. Okay, that concludes the items on the agenda. The report session agenda, so we're going to try to report. Mr. Mayor, uh, Mr. Porter. I don't have anything other than to say that the AG's opinion has been requested. Talk to uh, them Friday. They did receive it, um, so they are working on. Thank you. Hopefully, we'll get it back to as expedited as possible. Okay. Mr. Robinson. No. Mr. Campbell. No, sir. Uh, good. Good one. We've got a tough week coming up, so. Uh, Mr. Venable? No, sir. Mr. Gaffey? No, sir. Mr. Lennon? No, sir. Mr. Miller? No, sir. Okay. Uh, question, do we need to continue Monday's meeting to Tuesday or today's meeting? Is it about it? Today's meeting is a... Work session. This part. Oh, we have a special meeting. Right. And then Monday's meeting is a voting meeting. Actually, the only reason we're going to have a budget meeting afterwards, so give us a night. To you continue either where well, you've already voted to uh, reschedule the or continue the this one. Yeah, okay. this one. So yeah, I think you're good. Okay, so uh, we'll entertain a motion now to recess, and we'll continue this meeting on Tuesday at whatever time. What time do we say? Nine a.m. Motion. Motion. Second. Second. Discussion. All those in favor say aye. 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 aye.